Actually, this is my second time of doing this because I ran into a few bumps in the road. But anyway, what I'm doing, I'm going from a single tank to a dual tank because last year going across Montana, it got a little chilly. And of course I ran out of propane. Plus the price of propane goes up and down depending on where you are. I've paid as little as $40 and I've paid as little as $65. I mean, as much as $65 for a thing of propane. But anyway, it's basically pretty simple. You take the two tanks off. I ordered this plate from Scamp. I believe I paid $21, $22 for it. It comes with the rod, two bolts. All you do is drill it into the frame. Make sure you have enough clearance to get your battery cover off and that your crank works correctly. You know, so it doesn't bump the tanks or whatever. But anyway, this is how you do it. First thing you do, you disconnect it from the camper right here. I've already got everything broke down, so it's pretty easy to do. Okay, then, I mean, this is your feed hose, and I'll, I'll explain something to you in a minute. But anyway, you take your feed off, then you take this single regulator off, and I'll show you a couple of things I learned. I learned about parts and scam. Okay, you don't want to lose your boat because then you got to stop and go to the hardware store and get you another one. So, okay, you take the regulator off. Okay, let me ex ex explain this to you first of all. If you look at them, this is your new dual regulator, and that's the old one. See how the fitting's up here? That one's turned this way, and the other one's turned the other way, and those are sealed. So in order to turn them, you'd have to break it loose and reseal it and everything. So what you have to do, you have to order your longer hose. So you have to go with the three-foot hose, and to, and to this little 22 inch hose, see the difference? Because if you don't order another hose, you're not gonna have enough hose to fit to your dual regulator. Okay, okay, if you wanna be nice and safe about everything, I take tape and I put on the end of these fittings right here and that way it gives you a good seal. And um, I worked with a lot of propane in my life because I used to do power plant work. So this way I know it's sealed up and I ain't got no problems. Okay, I'm gonna go back later and tighten all this stuff up. But if you put that tape on there, you know you got a good seal. Okay, then you go with your, your new regulator. It's even got an on and off switch, I reckon. I'll switch tanks. And you put this on, and of course you can put your tape on. I'm just, I'm doing all this, but I'm gonna go back and redo it all. And you slide it on there like that. I'll come back later and secure all the stuff. Then you take your two hoses that you ordered from Scamp. Don't forget your tape on the end of the hoses. You put them in here like this. You could do this for you. Um, before you mount this thing, you could hook the hoses up. If that's what you want to do, probably be a lot easier than doing it what I'm doing, but just a demonstration on what's going on here okay I'm not gonna tighten them up right now no you really do is pick the tanks up and put one in, in place take your line hook it up like so everything won't be moving all over the place when I um, tighten everything down <laughs> Okay, there you go. You got two tanks now set up. If you want to check your your fittings, you take a little soapy water, and if you take it 
and you spray it on your fittings there it'll bubble up if you have any leaks so that way you know definitely you got a good seal here and here and there all your new fittings that you put up and basically that's all it is to putting dual tanks from single on a scamp trailer just remember the, about the the lines and the fittings on these things i mean i called ryan and he said he didn't know why the fittings were you know turned in different directions but anyway hope that keeps you warm if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe and i look forward to the next one i plan on headed out in november for a, a six to eight month trip going down south and see what i can find down there just enjoy it and take it one day at a time but anyway enjoy the video thank you bye